Oh, good morning. Just, it's about 12 o'clock at the moment. Um, you would not believe my morning. No, you would not. Um, it's very, very odd. I'm uh, just sort of slow at the minute. Um, and it's been a very uh, interesting morning. First, Mum came here and we had a conversation with my ex, Alan. Um, about stuff <sighs> that wasn't very productive in every is but that was fine and then we went out we went and had a coffee and I should have known it was going to go funny then because they forgot mum's tea cake how there was only about four people in the place I'm not going to mention it because it's not very nice no the place is very nice but mentioning it isn't very nice because then it makes a bad name for them. But they were pretty shit. But they forgot mum's tea cake and then expected her to pay for it. But she didn't pay for it, so that was fine. And then we walked down because, oh, I've got a huge spot coming up there. And then walked down because got to get Cassie some shoes because hers are falling apart. They're not falling apart at all. They're just a bit funny. Yeah. So I uh, walked down to get a pair, found a nice pair, they were a bit expensive, well, £16, and for me that's expensive, because I'm a tight ass, um, but she'll like them, so that's fine. So I took the one shoe over to the, <laughs> over to the counter, and then looked at the lady and said, oh, I think I'd like the other shoe as well, please. And she just looked at me. And then, of course, I was thinking, well, I can't just buy one shoe. So that was actually a really stupid thing to say. And then just started laughing. And laughing. And I couldn't stop. Because I was just thinking about it. And I just thought that was a really stupid thing to say. And she went off to get the other shoe. And then I carried on laughing. And then Mum came over and she was like, what on earth is the matter? So I told her. And then she started laughing. She said, oh, what are you supposed to do? Hop everywhere. And then that made me laugh. And then the woman came back and heard that we were still laughing. And then she had a little grin, but not a very big one. A little bit of a personality crisis going on there. Anyway, I bought two shoes for Cassia. Not one, two. That was fine. Walked out of the shop, started laughing again, but that was fine. And then decided that we'd go and buy some birthday cards because it's everybody's birthday this week. So went to the shop to get the card. I was looking and we found one and mum found one and she showed it to me and I just started laughing because it looked just like my dad and it was very, very funny. And it just said something like, it wasn't funny to say that, but it was funny that it was going to go, uh, it said something like, I oh fuck it, I can't remember what it said. <laughs> But it was funny. It says something about not, um, oh, bollocks. Not pretending. Not, I can't remember. Um, oh, then I said, I'll oh, forget it. I can't remember who I'm buying for. And so mum said, right, you need a card for so and so and so and so and so and so. I said, oh, right, yeah. I said, I'll forget it. I can't be bothered to do it in here. I'll just do it on Moonpig. They do much nicer cards anyway. And everybody turned around. Don't say things like that when you're in a card shop. So anyway, I proceeded to buy a card because it was actually nice. And it was a very good price. And then I thought I better get out of here. So I left. And then I went and said hello to a dog that was outside. And he kept jumping up at me because he liked me. So we were having a conversation. And that's fine. You can talk to dogs. That's okay. Uh, he was on his own. I wasn't on my own. Not that I'm proceeding to call myself a dog. That doesn't even make sense. This spot's worrying me now. Um, and then I went to uh, Iceland. Because Mum had a thing about milk. But it's good because I do need milk. So I went to Iceland to get milk. And then everybody was standing in my fucking way. And I was getting very, very annoyed. So anyway, I said, right, I'm just going to get milk. And then we'll go. So that was fine. Bought milk. Um, I want to put it down on the shuttlecock thing. Whatever it's called. 
uh, a Leskin spider on the thing that moves. And then a woman uh, that was behind came and put some biscuits on the woman in France. So I like looked at mum and said, she's just pushed in. And mum's like, no, 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 she hasn't pushed in. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, she doesn't want to push in, does she? And like the woman looked at me and mum was like, no, she doesn't want to push in. No, no. And then I just started laughing. I said, she doesn't want to come in front of me and try and push in front of me. And um, mum was like, no, she's not pushing in front. And she started laughing. And she's like, she'd have to be pretty stupid to push in front of you. Because <laughs> I'd have fucking killed her. <laughs> All for a packet of biscuits. But she wasn't pushing in front of me. She was safe. So that's all right. So then I came... Oh, I'd already come out of Iceland by that point. Because I was talking about something else. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Because I saw a dog then as well. Was that the same dog? I can't remember. I don't know. Then went to, uh, I went back to the car, and mum's got a cough, so I said, you should sort that cough out. And she said, oh, your father keeps saying that, so I should call, don't call an ambulance, don't call anybody. Go and get um, chesty cough medicine. And she said, oh, I don't really need medicine. And I said, oh, you do, because it's either get some medicine or you're going to have my, my arm down your throat. And so I think she got the hint that her cough was a little bit annoying. But I've got a cough. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking me. It's so stupid. I can't think to fucking speak properly. I sound like a fucking lunatic every time I speak. I feel like a all's in one of them people. <laughs> me. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, no, that's it now. I think I told you what I was going to... Oh, Derek has started using his little house. Oh, I'll try and show you. Come with... Oh, bollocks. Come with me. Peggy's asleep down there. Dear Peggy, not sleep anymore. Look, Derek has been using his house here. Can you see that? That's his little house. He's not in there now. Because <laughs> that would have been silly, wouldn't it? Showing it, you with him in it. <laughs> so, huh. right, all right, I'm going. Okay, um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Have a lovely day, one and all.